Hi, my name is Cliff Long. I'm an instructor at the Red Deer College in the Instrumentation Engineering Technology Program. And I want to talk to Physics 30 students about electromagnetic radiation. Today we're going to be applying it to a supervisory control and data acquisition system, also known as SCADA. Some people pronounce it wrong and say SCADA. Maybe they call it, uh, maybe they call it SCADA because things are kind of scattered everywhere in a SCADA network. All right, let's get serious now. So right here, we have one part of our SCADA system. And my finger, yes, right here. We've got a radio modem, which sends off a electromagnetic wave. And it sends it back over. Right here, it sends it right back over here. That's pretty quick, eh? That was pretty quick. Well, that's about a, how fast uh, electromagnetic radiation is. It travels at three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Cruising. All right, so the way this radio modem works here is it pulses electrons, charged particles, up and down the antenna here and produces this transverse wave, electromagnetic wave that's given off. It looks something quite like this. And I've actually drawn this to scale because the frequency that this radio transmits on is in anywhere from 902 to 928 megahertz. All right, just to prove to you that this wave is drawn to scale, we bring in our formula from our Physics 30 formula sheet. Velocity is equal to wavelength times frequency. Manipulate the formula for wavelength. Velocity over frequency. Replace velocity with the speed of light. Over here, we have our frequency that I selected. 915 times 10 to the 6 hertz, which is right between 902 and 928. Here's our speed of light. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Plug them into the formula, we get a Wavelength of 0.328 meters or 32.8 centimeters. So on our tape measure, which I'm going to bring in right now, tape measure, we should have a 33 centimeter wavelength. We come over to here. There's 30, 33, 33 centimeters. Perfect. To explain how this transverse wave here, electromagnetic radiation wave is produced, we can use our left hand rule. And if our electrons are moving up, we have a magnetic field rotating this way around the conductor, if we assume that our antenna is a conductor. And then we switch and we go this way, and then the magnetic field switches and goes this way, because our thumb is now pointing down. So what happens here is we have an electric field, due to the electrons going up and down, coming out like this, and we have a magnetic field going perpendicular to that, hence the name electromagnetic wave. We have a magnetic wave going this way, perpendicular to the electric field going this way, produced by our electrons. The electric field part of our electromagnetic wave can kind of be like uh, if you think about dropping something in your bathtub, and you see those waves rippling out. That's like your electric field of that wave. Gives me an idea. Here's my bathtub. So what are we using this electromagnetic wave for today? Data communications. We're sending information back and forth. The wave is electromagnetic. And if we ever so slightly modulate this wave, we call it frequency shift keying. We're slightly changing the frequency of the wave to represent ones and zeros that computers love for communication. Kind of like Morse code, dit, 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 different sounds for different letters. So this electromagnetic wave comes flying and boom, and hits it. We have the magnetic field cutting through a conductor. It's moving back and forth like this, and it causes electrons to move up and down in our antenna here. And this little box right here can understand and detect the changing frequency of that wave and convert it to ones and zeros and pass the information on. So I'm going to blow things out, I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to show you how this is all working. You're about to get a crash course on a SCADA system here. Right here we have a human machine interface where we can see some information, some graphics. The, when we want to send some stuff or communicate out, it comes out of this cable right here, goes to our radio modem, gets sent out as an electromagnetic wave over to our radio way over here, the other end. And now I'll bring you over there. The electromagnetic wave comes flying in and hits the antenna. 
the information gets sent down into the radio modem and then goes up through this cable right up here up to the top of what we call a remote terminal unit. It's because we can terminate devices or instruments for instrumentation into the RTU and we can communicate with them. Our instruments are over here on our trainer. And so what I'm going to show you here is we're going to control the level in this vessel right here. Move it up and down by turning, opening and closing a control valve over here. Once I turn the pump on, and we're going to control flow into this vessel remotely using this wireless transmission. All right, so I have our pump on. Right now you can see this is the level in our tank. It's dropping when I push the open button here. The light turns red, it opens our valve over there, and the level starts to rise. You can see the level rising over there. It's rising right here. I press close, and the level should start to drop again. There we go. You can see it dropping. So we are using this SCADA system to control that process remotely, hence the name Supervisory. We're watching it. Control and data acquisition, we're exchanging data back and forth. SCADA, don't call it SCADA. All right, if you enjoyed my demonstration of electromagnetic radiation used in a SCADA network or SCADA system, please check out our instrumentation engineering technology program at Red Deer College. I think you would love it. If you enjoyed what you saw today, you would love instrumentation. Lots of automation measurement and control. It's a beautiful thing.